What if the Pro Football Hall of Fame was a part of high school football and legends of the game teamed up with community experts to mentor future leaders one-on-one, -on -one, to make an impact on and off the field? Welcome to the Legacy Leadership Project. The Legacy Leadership Project, or the LLP, is really a Pro Football Hall of Fame mentoring program. And it was started on the vision of one person, and that's Hall of Famer Ron Uri, who lives in Murrieta here in Southern California. Also a native of Southern California and a USC standout, to say the least. It's really kind of an understatement. But Ron made so many trips out to Canton, Ohio, uh, as a Hall of Fame member that when he was there he realized that he had these moments in time with young people wearing and donning this gold jacket that could be moment changing, life changing, if he knew what to say, if he could deliver an important message. And because of the venue and the jacket, it just went to a depth with these kids that you don't get another opportunity to have on an everyday basis. So he got to thinking, there aren't that many West Coast trips for uh, young kids, high school level uh, young men to be able to go out to Canton because it's just so far away. So he wanted an opportunity to parlay the Hall of Fame opportunity to you know, create that connection and have that depth and, and have it be all year long with high schoolers out here in Southern California. We have approval from the NC2A. We have formal partnership with the Pro Football Hall of Fame as a recognized ambassador program. We have approval from the Orange County Department of Education, the support of our superintendents, the support of our athletic directors. And now we have our first class of 2010 and we're very excited about it. About three years ago, uh, one of the players that were, was being inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame had a, a football team show up there with the kids dressed in uniform. And when I went up to approach them to s introduce myself and, and see what they're all about, uh, the uh, reaction I got from the kids was uh, so uh, humbling uh, that I, I realized that this, what the Pro Football Hall of Fame here had created was the best venue to affect a kid's life. I, I gave it some thought and I figured that a great way to do this would be to bring kids back here to Canton, Ohio that might be having a, a situation where they really don't see their future ahead of them, uh, that they have the potential to go on to college and that they can play, compete athletically and they can compete academically, but because of the situation they're in, uh, they might not see that. And so the whole purpose of this is to, uh, is to enlighten them with their future that, uh, uh, that lies in front of them. And the best way to do it is bring them back to Canton, Ohio, isolate them away from all the other distractions that you have in your community, have them meet their heroes uh, that they might look up to in sports, and spend some time with each of them talking about how to prepare for the future. And then when we get back to them, back here to, to California, to take the rest of the year and maybe uh, spend a, a couple days a week or a few minutes each week uh, working with the kid and, uh, and answering his questions and introducing him to other people that will influence his life as well. We reached out to every Orange County High School that has a football program and invited them to nominate just one member of their team that was going into their senior year and gave them the opportunity to uh, recognize you know, who was going to be the most impacted by this type of programming and let them be the judge of who to nominate. So we took everyone that was nominated and then we have a selection committee that's going through a formal process as we, we down to the only two that are going to be able to have the ongoing mentoring. Innately, we're like rubber bands in all the different qualities that will build us in people, and it's how much you stretch that rubber band. All right, and I do believe that when it comes to leadership, that's a giving rubber band for most all people. But until they are taught how to tap into it and be consistent about that and how to face challenges so that you 
can uh, stay true to the character that you and your family represent. Until we teach people the skills to do that, we can't expect them to just innately know how to demonstrate those leadership qualities. So it's absolutely both, but I believe this is a generous suburb van and, and we're going to help them stretch it all the way. During the workshops, players are given the opportunity to role play and learn from their role models just how to handle the pressures of everyday life. You want this? I'm good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm confident about myself, man. I don't need drugs to feel cool. You know, I can go run or I'll watch movies. I do other stuff to get a high, man. But I'm good, man. No, thank you. Go ahead and take care of that, man. I'm, I'm straight. I mean, we talked about a lot of different things, but I think uh, one of the most important things is for the kids to be self-confident and understand that no matter what they go through or what, you know, what, what they endure, that they have to be confident and believe in themselves and that whatever road they decide to take, it doesn't have to be football, it could be anything as a professional, um, anything, uh, a doctor, a lawyer, a fireman or whatever, just put in 100% and just do it 100% uh, and believe in yourself. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of growing pains from high school uh, to college and there's a lot of pressure that uh, sometimes society and, and parents and, and, and everyone puts on these kids. But uh, just whatever you do, whether it's football, if you're playing football, just give it 100%. But, you know, you also have to do the other side, which is school. And that's very important. They go hand in hand. And if you don't have that education, then, you know, your dream in a sport or any type of occupation probably really won't, won't happen. So I think, first off, they hear it from everybody from grade school up. Get your education, get your education. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's very, very important. And without that, you have no foundation to do anything else. And what advice did Willie McGinnis have for these young men? Well, just take your time and enjoy it. Don't let anybody rush you or don't rush yourself. Um, take your visits, uh, you know, go into classrooms, talk to some of the students there, talk to some people that's been there before. Um, and just take your time and, and, and engulf the whole process. Just inhale it and you'll see, you know, you'll see what fit. I, I didn't take all my trips, you know, after my third trip I knew SC was the place for me. So I didn't need to go to Miami or Notre Dame because I knew right then the people I was around, the people I was going to be dealing with, the coaching staff, the academics, the alumni, and the football team was what I had dreamed of, you know, uh, since I was a kid. The Legacy Leadership Project piloted its program last year with Murrieta High School junior A.J. Moore. That whole trip was just amazing. I mean, we started out and I got to meet every Hall of Famer. By the, by the second day, I would met every one of them that was at least there in attendance. And I mean, sitting down, having meals with them, having one-on-one -on -one time, just them sharing experiences. And they were so open with me. And that was really the great thing. I thought maybe they would kind of be for lack of a better word, stuck up, but they weren't at all. And what did AJ feel that he gained? Hopefully better leadership skills, because, I mean, I was always a silent leader. I don't like to talk a lot. I don't like to yap a lot, just by my actions and my work ethic. But in my senior year, I definitely got more vocal, telling kids what to do and how to do it. Um, but really, I learned how to prepare better for the game and for life. Off the field, they all, it's all about grades and schooling. I mean, it was repeated so many times from those guys, schooling, schooling, schooling. So I really improved there. Oh, I saw tremendous leadership growth. You know, I mean, uh, AJ was a quiet kind of leader. And he led by example. But going through this program, I think, and being exposed to those, to the gentlemen that he's been exposed to, just great men, and especially Ron. Uh, Ron's leadership. Uh, AJ's really grown in responsible wise. He's uh, he's he thinks about uh, his future and where he's gonna. You know, it's not just the next day, the next day, but he's looking down the road and coming up with a plan. And I've seen a tremendous growth. Accessibility by athletes to Hall of Famers is a key component of the LLP. Hall of Famer Mike Haynes. But you're only as great as your weakest link. And you guys have all heard that. That's what football and all sports are about. So it's how much you can work together and, and really want to be a team. Although the mentoring lasts for one year, the education, 
experience, and bond created between mentor and mentee will last for a lifetime.